We've come to the end of our asynchronous session on evidence-based feedback practice. And we want to take some time to make connections with what we have learned, think about how it extends our understanding, as well as challenge some of our ideas about what is effective feedback practice in schools. On the case studies from the work we did in Jewing Secondary School, we were able to notice a number of feedback principles at work in at least the English and the math classrooms. In both cases, the teachers went about doing at least three things in interpreting and acting on the evidence of students' work. Firstly, they looked at the complex tasks and they broke it down for students. Secondly, they went to address conceptual challenges students had before addressing their task demands. And finally, in making transfer visible, they were cognizant in helping students understand and be able to internalize process skills that will help them to do similar tasks in the future. From the case studies from the work we did in Chua Chu Kang Primary School, we also saw feedback principles at work in the different classrooms. In the mother tongue classrooms, there were at least three principles that the teachers were observing. Firstly, they practiced positive feedback in their feedback comments. Secondly, they downsized the improvement that's required for individual students. And thirdly, they help students practice more independence so that they work themselves out of the job. And that is quite similar to what the secondary school teachers were doing in thinking about making transfer visible. I would like you to take some time to consider how the different feedback practice that's enacted connect with your ideas about feedback practice, how it extends your understanding, and in what ways it could be a challenge in your classroom. Post your reflection on the Google board in this link. We've come to the end of this e-learning session. Here's a reminder to post your applied learning in the Blackboard discussion board. Please do so before our synchronous session. Stay safe, everyone.